Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you how to add the auto increment property to a particular column in SQL. So let's get started. So first, let me just create a table. So it's going to be create table, new TB my table name, and let's have a R number or register number. It'd be of in type. And to specify a for a particular column to be auto incremented, you need to just use the auto increment keyword. Okay, so it's auto underscore increment. So it can be both in lower case as well as upper case. It's not going to be an issue. So let's have R number and let's have like uh, name, which is of varchar type, and let us have another column saying salary. Okay, salary, which is of in type. That's fine. Let's write down. So it's now showing me that there can be like only one auto column and it must be defined as a key. So it's saying that it should be have like a key property to it. So let's just go here and put primary key, okay? So if I just now select this and run it, I'll be getting a green mark over here, which means that our table has been successfully created. So now let's just go and insert some values. Okay, so it's going to be insert into new t values. So here we are having like two column, auto increment is going to be auto incremented. So here we are having name and salary. So it's good. name is for name is going to be John. For salary, let's say it's 2000. So let me just select this and run it. I guess I will be, we will be getting an error. Ah, yes, we have got an error. So the reason we are getting the error is that here if we are just passing two parameters, but you are having three columns over there. So the simplest way to solve this problem is what value corresponds to what column. So let's just go here and put name comma salary that's it so by specifying this particular uh, parameters we mean that john corresponds to name and 2000 corresponds to salary column so if i just now select this i'll be getting a green mark which means that it has been like inserted so it's going to be select asterisk from new t so if i just select this now default i'm getting the one value okay so this is automatically incremented so if i just go again and insert some values okay let's say i'm inserting john with salary let's say 5000 and if i just right now i'll be getting green mark if i just select this now i'll be getting two john 5000 so this is how it works it just gets automatically incremented and it starts from one as a default value so i hope you have found this video useful i also heard many other sql interview questions sql query questions and programming videos in c c plus plus java python as well as 3d animation blender so do check out the rest of my channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching